So now they need three yards on third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They go with Jacobs. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And incomplete on the deep ball. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. This offense so far on third down, they've hit four of seven. This is going to be third and 13. Purdy now to throw. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for San Francisco. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger to pass. Here's Jordan Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown Green Bay. Romeo Dobbs 67 yards. And the Packers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now McManus for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. The long touchdown pass gets them six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time.
After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Here's Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. The tight end in motion right. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Purdy. That's complete to Pearsall. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Back to throw, Purdy. That's over the middle and caught by Pearsall. Only able to gain a couple there. And now two yards to go on third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. They'll try and pick it up at McCaffrey. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Oh, boy, Christian McCaffrey shaken up. So hold everything here as they're going to take a look at it. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. That's caught out right by Jennings. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Purdy looking to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting the game. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, 
The coverage downfield, equally good. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, looking back to that first quarter, they struggled, but now here in quarter two, they seem to have some rhythm. And it really shouldn't be a surprise to us because when we were in the production meetings, we asked a few of the players about, hey, what if things get a little rocky early? They all said the exact same thing. We're prepared, so we're confident things will work out. And so far, they've started to do so. Those three words we hear a lot, stay the course. That'll be caught right side by Reed. Well, every lineman knows the rule. You only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged for it there. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So still 14 yards to go, second down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. The offense on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and eight. Looking right side, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that. But I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far. Two touchdowns to one interception. 